Hey guys, welcome back to Tecton Z. Thank you so much for joining me as always in this bonus episode. So what are we doing today? Well, recently I went to Yorkshire Wildlife Park, which is my local zoo here in the UK. Um, and one of the things that they had that I thought would be really cool to get into Tecton Zoo were bug hotels. You're probably familiar with the concept, but uh, just in case, they're like a little structure made out of just old bits of wood, just anything with little holes in it really, um, that make a little habitat for bugs. It gives them somewhere to sleep, somewhere to hide, um, just generally encourages insects, invertebrates, etc. into the area. And they had them dotted about, and I thought it'd be really cool to put them into Tecton Zoo. Uh, so I made a little bug hotel. Uh, and we've now got them all over the zoo. I thought I'd show you how I made it. This is uh, just a little bonus episode, doesn't interrupt our normal schedule. So this Saturday we have a big habitat to build for um, some very special bears. Actually just a little something extra in the meantime. So I looked into bug hotels before I started. Um, one of the things that I found out is trying to make them look like a real house or cool or, or presumably like a 1930s modernist zoo uh, is not a good idea. The more natural looking it is and the more of it is accessible and made of old bits of wood etc the better it is for the bugs so there won't be any sort of modernist aesthetic to this uh, the only thing that's going to tie it into Tepton at all is I'm going to be using for legs these metal poles and, and making them orange as we do throughout the zoo um, but mainly it's the pallet the little uh, one meter pallet and then you can use whatever you like for the for the legs like I say I'm using these metal poles just to tie it into the rest of the zoo a little bit uh, the poles do work well I'd probably go with like a, a medium grey or something if it wasn't in this zoo um, and the, the poles are like the legs for it to stand on yeah, but if it has a little uh, crawl space underneath it then even things like hedgehogs etc can, uh, can use it for shelter so it's good to have it off the ground also because it's made of wood normally if it's actually touching the ground it'll get wet and it'll rot so you have it off the ground hence the legs and then just four of the pallets on top of each other and then we're going to fill the pallets with uh, little bits for the the bugs to hide in in a real one the hole should be really small so they can only just about squeeze in to stop any predators getting in there obviously we're limited in the planet zoo in what sort of pieces we have so i'm going to use the thin bamboo pieces for this um like i say in real life apparently the uh the ideal width of the holes is uh, six to eight millimeters so this is uh, a little bigger than that but uh, this is what we're going to be what we're going to be using um, I've just put these in copy them adjust how far out um, they are projecting from the front of it so it looks a bit less uh, regular a bit less copy pasted um, and that is the that's the structure done <laughs> I wish all building was like this um, and then once that's done uh, we fill it with dead grass, uh, nettles, just any sort of detritus that you would uh, you'd have, you know, that would normally go on the compost heap or whatever. Um, that fills it. So I use the um, the new African grass, nettles, maybe a couple of other things, and then to that we add the broken trees, as they're called, i.e. The, the tree stumps, basically. Um, those are so good I use those all the time in habitats because when you turn them upside down you've got all the the roots and little bits of twigs sticking out and they make really nice bushes for habitats uh, they can mess with the traversable area for the animals so you've got to be a bit careful with them but obviously for this um, that is not a consideration so you just put some of these in spin them around so they're backwards and then poke them out try and sort of line the bits that are poking out up with the holes in the bamboo Finally, a little bit of moss on the top, and there you go. You got yourself a little bug hotel. Uh, I just place these all around the zoo, and anything you can make in five minutes that you can then drop into the zoo multiple times saves you a lot of time, and it's just cool for the detailing of the zoo. So this is on the workshop as of now. The link's in the description if you want to download it. Anyway, that is literally it for this little uh, bonus episode. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. And I'll be back on Saturday with something rather bigger. Thanks for watching.